Hi everybody, it's Me Shine 44 coming at you with another great product review. This product review is actually a little different. It's not about makeup. It is not about clothes, jewelry, hair, naturalness, and that. It is about health. And I started my weight loss journey 11 weeks ago. And since then I've lost 12 pounds. Um, I'm on a, 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 a very deep weight loss journey very deep um health journey and you always know when it's different because it doesn't feel as coerced and forced as all the other times you know if you ever experience weight loss and you kind of went back and you just fail fail your weight loss journeys and I've had several in my lifetime but this one is different because believe it or not I'm taking it slower I've never took a weight loss journey slower it always been okay I gotta be fit before I you know for the summer before my birthday before a wedding before um I meet this guy you know it's always been just so premeditated and very a very selfless um motive but this time it's not a selfless motive it's very self motivated this time for me um i'm doing it for me and i always heard people say you know you have to do it for you and i never understood that i'm like well, what does that mean what does that mean well I don't know if it's that I'm about to be 31 and the light went off in my head. Ding, 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 ding. Um, but it went off, you know. And it was like, okay, if you out with some friends and they eating donuts and you eating donuts, you got to remember, you want you got to go home and try to squeeze into those jeans. And you got to, you know, so I had to become selfish to the point where I had to make this about me and no one else. It's a very, per weight is a very personal situation that can branch off into your life as far as your job your relationship your kid your social life but it is very personal so you know just depending how personal it is to you depends on the severity of the situation well I was never a big child I was never well start from the beginning I was never a big baby I was never a big child. I was never a big adolescent, preteen, or a teenager. I started gaining weight around 20, well, a lot of weight, around 21, 22. I never had any kids. And I thought, I seen the weight coming on, but I never thought that it meant anything. Because I always felt I was smart. I had a beautiful face. Guys were still after me. It never meant anything to me. Until I started expanding more and more. And people were. I was getting treated a little different. And people were saying certain jokes. Certain comments. And men were kind of treating me a little bit different. You know, I don't allow anybody to just treat me wrong. But I noticed the difference from when I was 145. You know 150, 160, 180. The more I went up 200, 225, 250, 260, I started seeing a change, not only in people, but in myself. I was less self-motivated. I was more insecure. I was so self-doubting. I mean, it was a lot of self-toxin going on in my body, and the people around me didn't make it any better. So... For me, it was not like constantly overeating or just, you know, you know, eating four Big Macs or anything. It was just not proper management, meaning making sure I'm eating vegetables, protein, you know, kind of like not eating out every single day and just moving more. I wasn't doing that. Well... December 2011, I just decided to change my whole life. You know, I decided to pray on it. I have been praying on it. And I had decided to change my whole life. 
my whole complete life. Um, at times, I wouldn't say it's hard, but at times I would say it is challenging, you know, when you're not used to putting yourself absolutely first. It gets challenging because you want to kind of fall back into that same norm of your life, especially if you have a a a part or rela- and you're in a relationship and you guys have used food as one of your connections and it's like now when we lay and watch a movie I don't braid graze on chips and McDonald's and stuff like that. I go get some cashews and raisins and bananas and you know stuff like that. And it kinda puts a little bit of little bit of wedge between you and your partner especially if that was one of y'all connections kind of puts a little bit wedge in between there but that person if they love you they will understand you know and my boyfriend he definitely understands and he's been there for me and I love him you know for that but anyway what I'm doing to lose weight is I am eating more fruits more vegetables no fast food. I mean, I may eat a pizza. My boyfriend, he'll order a pizza. I may eat one, maybe two slices. Um, what am I else am I doing different? Oh, I'm exercising three times a week. Sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes. That's why I told you, you like I said earlier, I'm not doing an extreme thing, but I am doing it. What else am I doing? I am counting carbs. I am on like low carb, sort of speak, meaning, you know, I eat brown rice, I eat um, wheat bread, whole grain wheat bread, but it's very limited. You know, I I may eat pasta once a month, so that every week, oh God, I was eating pasta like three times a week, spaghetti, um, goulash, lasagna, um, all kind of things. Chicken Alfredo. I was eating pasta three times a week. And one thing I do not eat is potatoes because it's too starchy. I feel like a heavier person should not should try to avoid heavy and starchy foods by any means necessary. But I still do engage, but I don't overindulge. And I found that getting away from a lot of heavy, starchy carbs shrinks your stomach naturally. So even when you go to try to eat some of that stuff, you notice a difference that you you can't even really handle it because your stomach has naturally shrunk. So you can't handle like things that has flour in it and uh, white flour and all the sugar. You you just can't handle it. Me sometimes all I eat for lunch is bananas and nuts or a salad or because my body can't handle all that. And as a as a result. My face has my face is clearing up after that twelve pound weight loss. Clearing up. My boyfriend even noticed today. He said, Your face is clearing up. I said, That's you know, when you take off weight, you guys you you do lose toxins. I mean you're losing you know, you're shedding water, you're shedding toxins, you're shedding poundage, unnecessary poundage. So your skin a lot of people well my skin clear your skin clears up. As a result, so um, I like to think that my natural hair journey has brought me to this point because I see a lot of ladies on on YouTube when they become natural and they're kind of overweight or they have some weight they want to lose. It's like when you become natural, you can't help but think about your weight. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't want to be this. You know, I'm not gonna go there, but. A lot of girls I've seen that's went natural. The weight loss thing was just wasn't too far behind. So you see a lot of natural beauties on here, and if you go back and see some of their older tapes and their newer tapes, a lot of them has lost a lot of weight. Natural hairiness can do that for you. It'll just make you self conscious about more conscious, not self conscious, but more conscious about how you look, how you, you know, represent yourself. And it's almost kind of natural for weight loss to to come after that. You know, I'm not saying you have to, but my natural hairiness has played a role in me be, me wanting to be healthy. So, I don't know, it kind of goes 
hand in hand, so to speak. So if you you know, you can chime in, let me know how you feel. Has your naturalness made you want may has has your naturalness made you want to lose weight? Has it made you more aware of, you know, your your state, your human state, you know, and want to change it? So, you know, if you want to, you guys want to chime in, just let me know. This was a, a whole other different topic. Um, cause like I said, I talk about everything on my, on my channel. So let me know, chime in, tell me how you feel. And tell me if y'all like my Afro puff. Okay. I'm liking this thing. And I don't wear my hair out a lot, but psh, mm, no, I wish you could see it. Dark hair is so hard to pick up. On camera. Ain't I? Ain't I? I love it. It's so soft. But anyway, I'm seeing me shine 44 people. Family, love you guys. Peace and blessing. Peace and love. Bye.